Hello Gamers and welcome to Storm 4 Rise of Bel Air. Now this game crossed my desk about seven days ago and to be honest I wasn't quite sure what to make of this really because I have played MMO games before now and tend to find by about day three I get bored of them because either one waiting around for something to do or I've uh, got wiped out by the enemy force, lost all my resources and my troops. Now with Storm 4, that addresses that problem I find quite well. Um, let me take you around for some of the features of the game, okay? First off, what we're going to show you is the Lost Arts. Now the Lost Arts is where I can unlock new units and new buildings. And as you see, we have a very, a very extensive table uh, to uh, progress down to. Now, so go back up to the top here and let's say I want to invest in uh, bow and you can see it can take me 41 minutes and 24 seconds so if I go upgrade and where we go and that will upgrade my archers offense and defense. Next we have is the oblix of power. Now this is where I can upgrade the stats of my units I currently have in my possession. So as you see here, I've been spending points on my Archer, uh, Pikeman and Dwarf at present moment. And as you see, I've got level 9, 8 and at present moment I'm upgrading my Dwarf speed to level 6. Um, I use what are called Ruins. Now these are table from uh, doing rewards that game can offer me or from doing requests quests, no, quests, that's better, um, that the game does offer me fairly regularly. So there is no problem without getting these uh, updated, I mean updated, uh, upgraded. Okay, um, next then we go to is the infirmary. Now the infirmary is where all my units that have been involved in combat come to. So if I've been um, engaged against other players, uh, taking on battlefields um, and doing the side quests or doing the main quest all the units that are lost come here now I can revive them but it will cost me uh, sapphires so you see here if I want to revive my uh, pikemen 256 of them it's going to cost me over 1792 sapphires but the one benefit there so one benefit there so is if my troops are in my castle and I get raided and lose all my troops I can at least revive them for free so that's something at least. But speaking of being raided, if like yourself you may log off for a few days because you're going on holiday or simply because you're busy, uh, then, you, then you should really look at using the catacombs area. Now the catacombs, uh, as you see here, I've got my troops stored in the present moment, is where I can store my troops for as long as I like. Um, so if I get raided by another player, I won't lose any of my troops. I still will lose some of my resources, but some of them are saved though. So at least when I come back, um, I've got something I can play around with. I don't have to sit there waiting and waiting to have new resources regenerated because I've lost them all from a previous raid. Right, next we will show you is that of the uh, um, Eagle's Nest. Now the Eagle's Nest is for those of you that like uh, taking on fights. Now this here will list 25 uh, what they call battleground locations. Now these are NPC uh, areas where you can either go and attack or defend against Belair. You can see at present moment I've got level 4 up to level uh, 12. And now you can see what I mean by defend or attack. The green ones are where I can use my defensive units, and the red ones are where I can use my offensive units. And once again, if I uh, complete, if I manage to complete one of these uh, battlefields, I get more rewards. And these can, then these can vary depending on how hard the uh, quest is at the time, or I should say, battleground is at the time. The top one, Balaz Chasm, that is a side quest, and that offers you more troops and uh, stones. But that will be harder to do, so be prepared to lose some of your troops, which of course will go to the infirmary. Here you have the quests. Now these are um, the storyline which you can follow, and as you can see here, there is a lot of it to follow. Uh, we go down to, I believe it is 125 uh, to follow. Yep, they got 125 quests to follow. And on the right hand side, there's also side quests as well. It is up to 24 of them at two times each.
Lastly, we have is settlements. Now, settlements are um, our settlements are controlled by players. Now, these uh, can offer you some nice rewards if you're prepared to go for it. Um, be prepared. What I mean by this is you need to make sure you've got a very, very big army uh, to want take over the uh, settlement in question. So, if I want to take over. Uh, Lord Kickass, I need to make sure I've got a very, very extensive uh, army, and then once we're taking it over, I've got to need to have a very extensive defensive force as well. So if you're a new player, I wouldn't recommend trying to take this on until at least you got yourself established first. Otherwise, you'll be going to firmly quite often. And that is Stormfall in a nutshell. Um, it will keep you busy, believe me. Um, I've been playing this now for seven days straight. Now I have actually forgotten to show you something, so I better cover this as well before before I uh, finish this video. Now, as I was saying, uh, with Stormfall, there is also something to, also to keep you busy. Now, we've got the very extensive um, recommended quests and uh, quests which the game will off will give you rewards to. So, for example, if I can train uh, 50 archers. It would give me uh, a one unit, and it will reward me skill points, not skill points, experience points. Or, we we'll go back to there, uh, if I can uh, win 10 battles, I once again get, uh, I think that's a necromancer. Yeah, necromancer, I can win necromancer there. We'll go back. Or, see what else I can do. Or, if, if I upgrade uh, my mind to level 9, I will get more troops, more gold, more food. Um, as you see though already, I've actually, if I go back up to the top, you can see there, we've actually done some of the uh, completed quests. So, like claim my, claim some. Uh, archers there, um, claim more experience points, uh, some more experience points on archers, and once again there's some more archers experience points, and if you see here at present moment the game recommends me to upgrade my level 8 mine, uh, so I'm upgrading my building, my mines to level 8, and once again if I can do this I get more rewards, so there's always, the game's always giving you rewards that you can aim for, so you're never going to be short of anything in this game, believe me. So let me just go and start this off. Now, the game here tells me it's going to take me 15 minutes um, to upgrade my mine. So, I have a start, and away we go. But, the thing about this game which I like is, once you get down to under 5 minutes, you can then boost it for free. And this also counts for your Lost Arts uh, as well. So, once you get down to under 5 minutes, you can boost it for free. So, really speaking, um, as you see there, I've only got really 10 minutes to wait before I can then boost it, which is actually not too bad, really, considering that I'm at level 34 now. Uh, finally, though, uh, if you are running short of resources, then maybe you want to check out the daily quest. Now, these are regenerated every five hours, and they allow you uh, to get extra resources by completing these quests. So here I've done one already, which is attack at the bandit camp, and I get from this 78 gold, 78 uh, ore, uh, and 36 uh, food, and I can complete that. Now note though, you, well, there doesn't look at, there doesn't look many uh, quests here, but because I've already completed a fair few already, uh, a lot of these are, won't take you many minutes to do. So if you're running short, then this will be the place for you to come to boost your resources in a in a space of maybe half an hour. So, once again, there's always something to do. And let me just start that off, and away we go. And anyway, that is Storm Force. Storm Force? I can't write Storm Force in a nutshell. There's something to keep you occupied, and as I said, I've been playing it for seven days straight, and I really have not got bored. Um, I'm going to have to stop, stop attacking the unit, stop attacking NPC characters too much, because once again, um, if I want to go and attack an NPC uh, area, I'll show you how quick it is. I'm going down to the bottom. Let's have red, and let's go and you select all my red units. Um, have I got them out? Um, hang on, let me go back. Let me go back to catacombs area. That's it for us, catacombs. And go recall all my units. And recall all. Oops, oh, sorry, I need to select all my units. Recall all. There we go. And if I then go to uh, fight, and go to attack here, there we go. And if I then select all, sorry, I select only. Let me, let me rephrase that. No, take that off again. Cancel that. If I go to battlefields, <laughs> get down to the bottom. No, go attack, and go my red the attacking units. That's my red units, and go that select them all, please. 
done that. Yep, all fees, thank you very much. And then go start. You see there, I've only got out to wait 59 seconds. So, like I said, you don't hang out, there's not much, as I say, not much. There is very, fair, there isn't much really, no, I'm not sure what I can say really. Um, there's always something to do. Um, you haven't got long to wait. Which I like about um, this kind of, which I like about this game, it's something not seen before in an MMO where you will always be busy doing something. And create for creative developers for this, where it kept me hooked for seven days straight. Anyway, that is my quick review of Stormfall. It is now out on Android and iOS, and uh, um, it is available to download for free. So I hope you enjoyed. Please leave comments below what you think about the game and how far you got into it. And I will see you again soon. Goodbye for now. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.